I drag myself over the threshold, the chapel. I'm immediately conscious of the organ's monotone drone. I pay the uniform vicar my unholy Jews, and he returns the favour by giving me a worthless shred of paper, exactly worth 0.01 of what I paid. There are two rows of threadbare benches, enough room on each for two, but our inhibitions say no. So we sit by ourselves, always by ourselves, concentrating on not meeting anyone's eye for the fear of conversation with the unknown. But as I sit here thinking this to myself, it becomes apparent that this is a social affair for those grey and perhaps blue rinsed hair, and those whose innocence has been lost who talk about me and all of my oddities. The tinny tin tin of distant drum and bass playing through someone's new smartphone. The beat reaches to a climax, climbs onto the peak. Now comfortable in how terrible it sounds, the song rolls slowly downhill until it fades back into the past. The vicar looks down the aisle expectantly to a daughter following her father by the hand. There are no smiles, this is everyday routine. He can't feel happiness, so he complains about it. Complain, complain, complain. And it's driving me fucking insane. We're beginning to slowly slow down, the continuous rumble stutters on. Three get on, yet five get off. Soulless faces, soulless people. I stare at them in disbelief. Those empty seats left have been replaced by a teenage mother without a lover, yet another expressionless waste. People give sharp looks at one another, but alas, the child's smile has pierced through the mist. She opens her mouth with only one gob, no one anticipates it but me. I brace my ears for the sound to come, here it is, the pitch rips through every living fibre, startled shock surprised the lot. Something has lit the scenery, eyes flit around with sudden curiosity, innocence, youth and naivety, one day it will all be gone, no longer necessary, but for now my friend she has set us free. Faces come to life, let us rejoice, in a new birth, a new voice, it's time for me to take a choice, I do, I do, I do. I stand up in triumphant glee, and walk to the front of the church quite quickly. Then I press the buzzer, get off the bus, go home and forget anything ever happened.